Since my last video, I've installed the limiting strap. I've installed the bump stop. I've assembled everything to make sure that everything fits, including the caliper. I also changed out this, the piece, this upper link was inch and a half DOM and I changed it to inch and a quarter DOM because I concluded that the inch and a half was overkill and I thought it actually looked a little bit, it looked a little bit off on here. So I remade this as inch and a quarter DOM. Now one thing that I did do is on this bump stop, I was able to integrate this into the bump stop that was, uh, that I, cause I welded all this up for the swing arm. And actually before this portion of the bump stop was just turned and through here. It's the same design where if I remove this bolt, the bump stop actually comes out and then I can change how far in or out it goes just for some adjustability. This design really would not work long term because if I, if I actually hit this bump stop really hard, all of that force would, would have to be transferred through here and there's a very good chance that it would actually bend here or even worse, bend this portion of the chassis. So what I'll do then is I will purchase the adjustable clamps that come with the pneumatic bump stops and I'll fabricate a whole new assembly. I'll actually weld that onto this portion of the chassis and it'll have an extension that runs up and ties up into the chassis up here. Here it's in the full droop position and you'll notice that at this point my U-joints are close to bottoming out but they're not. I've given it enough slack that when the suspension bottoms all the way it does not touch the opposing yokes. Now, in all honesty, this is a little bit closer than I would probably like it because these limiting straps are brand new and they will eventually stretch a little bit. So I will probably shorten up my, uh, my adjustable strap a little bit just to give me a little bit more slack because you definitely don't want these to collide with each other at full droop. Here's how I actually make the adjustment on my limiting strap. I've got an 18 inch limit strap here, but then I always set it up. So I've got, uh, this is about four inches right here of this straight piece right here. And what I'll do, cause I, I actually want to shorten this a little bit. I'll actually take this piece out. I'll make a new piece. I'll cut it. I'll drill it just like this one, but I'll probably make it about a quarter of an inch shorter. That'll shorten up the limit strap. So I've recut this piece. This is inch and a quarter, 095 DOM. I've cut the ends. I've filed them a little bit to uh, put a chamfer on the edge. I've put this hole on each end for my rosette welds. I've got my bungs. These are for three quarter inch himes and they are meant for one and a quarter inch tubing. You can see from the marks here, this one here is right hand thread because there's no groove here. This one here, which has the groove that represents that it's left hand thread. So I've got a right and a left hand thread so that when this is assembled, when this is all welded together and I've got it on the car, just like a steering linkage, if I turn it because it's got right hand and left hand threads, it'll go longer or shorter.
I'm really happy with all of this. Very happy with all of this. I haven't set the vehicle on it yet because what I'm going to do now is now I'm in the process of fabricating all these parts for the other side so that I can install all this on the other side. So over the next couple of weeks, what I'll be doing is fabricating control arms, spindles, links, drive shafts, shock absorber mounts, limiting strap mounts, bump strap mounts. It's probably gonna take more than that. It'll probably take me three or four. No, it'll probably take me about three weeks. And then I'll, uh, I'll assemble all this on the other side. The other side right now is still set up with the uh, swing arm. I'll install this all on the other side and then once I have all that welded in place, then I'll actually lift the whole bug up and set it down on this uh, on the new A-arm rear suspension. And at that point, I'll start making uh, some spring adjustments and, and set it up so that it rides close to how I want it to ride, or at least as close as I can tell while I have it here in the garage. Guys, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I hope you're getting as stoked about finishing this A-arm suspension as I am. I'll see you on the next video.